I now recognize myself for five minutes. Uh, Madam Secretary, there are those who believe that if you don't vote for legislation, you have to denounce it as ineffective. The American Rescue Plan was ineffective, was effective legislation. And here's what my colleagues didn't vote for. They didn't vote to help those who were unemployed during a pandemic. They didn't vote to save small businesses during a pandemic. They didn't vote to provide vaccines and to distribute that vaccine to those who needed it during a pandemic. They didn't vote to help children in schools during a pandemic. They didn't vote for food for children during a pandemic. And they didn't vote to provide for working families during a pandemic. They would call all of that inflation. But I believe that at some point, the American people will understand that there were many of us who were trying to save the economy and prevent it from sliding into a deep, deep recession and to help persons who were suffering during a pandemic. Madam Chair, you've spoken quite well on this topic this, this day. I don't want you to entirely repeat yourself, but there was a pandemic and the American Rescue Plan was there to do what the government should do during a pandemic. Would you kindly give us additional thoughts on how the American Rescue Plan prevented us from sliding into a deep, deep recession or possibly something worse? We saw unemployment rise um, after the pandemic struck to um, double digit levels, something we hadn't seen in the United States in decades. And there was immense suffering. The pandemic unfairly struck those least low income minority workers, um, those least able to bear its consequences. Who went to work every day, many of them, Madam Secretary, risked their lives. To, to make sure that there was food available for those of us who could stay at home and work from home during a pandemic. And we saw cars lining up in parking lots to get food at food banks. And Madam something. Secretary, many of them, while in line, their cars ran out of gas during a pandemic. Please continue. And we worried that um, many people would lose the roofs over their heads kept and people from being thrown out on the streets. That's what the American Rescue Plan did during a pandemic. Please continue. And we worried that children would suffer and um, experience homelessness or loss of access to education, that families and workers would be permanently scarred and um, never really be able to get their lives back on track. Madam and Secretary, if I may just forecasts. say this, with, uh, because I'm going to end this with my five minutes, but I want you to know this. I appreciate what you did. Pandemics are not things that you can predict. And we didn't know what the actual solutions were, but we saved a lot of lives we helped, the people, helped a lot of people who were suffering during a pandemic. And when we hear people say, oh, you, you spent too much. Well, we spent too much on unemployment during a pandemic. We spent too much to save small businesses during a pandemic. We spent too much to provide vaccines and to distribute that to people during a pandemic, to help schools and school children, to keep people from being thrown out on the street, to provide for child care, as parents had to work. It was a pandemic, and it was more than inflation at risk. Lives were at risk, and many were saved. I thank you for your service, Madam Secretary, and I yield back the balance of my time.
And with that said, Madam Secretary, uh, your testimony has been very valuable to us today. Without objection, all members will have five legislative days within which to submit additional written questions for Secretary Yellen to the chair, which will be forwarded to her for her response. Secretary Yellen, I ask that you please respond as promptly as you are able to respond. Without objection, all members have five legislative days within which to submit extraneous materials to the chair for inclusion in the record. The hearing is adjourned.